So, we'll call this a vector review, not before the test. What are you going to do? You're going to watch a video, right? Well, it better be a good one. All right, real quick run through vectors, 10 minutes or less video here. All right, in general, every vector is made up of two components. Now, if this were calculus, we'd have three components. But anyway, every vector is made up of two components. So if we had a vector, it could be V, it could be F, it could be anything. Uh, we can say that this vector is, we can call it the genetic letter, I gave them a letter, M. If I wanted to find the X component of this vector, I will, all I would do is, if this is the angle, I would take M times the cosine of that angle. If I wanted to find the Y component of that vector, I would take M times the sine of that angle, and that's how I could get my X and Y's component. Now, this always works, cosine for X, sine for Y, as long as this angle is off of the X axis. If that angle comes off of this axis, I would subtract from 90 and get that angle just to make it easier. All right, your basic, your basic hiker in the woods question, as I call it, or vector and really, again, this we should call it vector addition instead of hiker in the woods. It's just somehow another got stuck in my head a long time ago. The basic vector addition problem is a question that would start off by doing this. Wherever it says you're starting, start off, put your little crosshair. Where does this person, what does this vector do? So let's say that this vector goes... We will say, in this case, a vector that goes due west. So describe this vector. I'm going to say this vector is 20 miles due west. And so that would be the picture of a vector that is 20 miles due west. Oop, forgot the little T. All right. Now, what you need to do is when he gets there, you put down your little dink, dink, dinkies. There you go. Put another crosshair. Where does he go? Where does this person go when they get to this location? Well, let's just say this. Let's say that they now travel. Bam. And we'll do a little scale. If this was 20, then this has got to be at least 30 here. So let's describe this. That would be 30 miles. And where would we say this? Uh, that angle looks like to me I drew about a 50 degree angle. So at 50 degrees, and I am south of a west line. So I came south off of a line to the west. So that's south of west would be a description of that vector. Now, what happens when we get here? Let's do one more little set of crosshairs. Dun, dun, dun. So at the end of every leg, at the end of every piece, I put another crosshair down. Let's take this one. And now let's turn. I'm getting a little confused. I started to come straight back, but let's not. Let's go right here. Let's make a small angle. Let's do it. A, let's do another. I don't know. Let's go 15 maybe. So let's do one last vector, and we'll call it 15. Now let's describe this. What would this angle be if we were describing this vector? 15 miles at what kind of an angle that look like to you 40 at 40 degrees this one is south of east so both cases i've come south you can see me working downward on here in terms of this north south east west coordinate system i'm kind of using here so anyway whack the camera a good one all right once you've got this picture drawn, all you're going to need to do is do this. Sum up all your X components, sum up all your Y components. So now go to the very first vector, 20. This 20 has neither and has, is only an X component. It is not up, it is not down. This 20 is 100% due that way, which means you went 20 units in a negative direction. So I'm going to write for my X component, negative 20. And as far as Gump would say, that's all I've got to say about that. The 20 is over. All it had was this X. Now, any time you've got a vector with, an, with that moves at an angle, it's got both an X and a Y component. 
but again it's really easy all you've got to do your X's are going to be cosines your Y's are going to be sines so when I do this vector it's going to be 30 cos and 50 so I'm going to write 30 cos and 50 down and I'm going to have a 30 sine 50 for my Y my only question is are these plus are these positive or negative vector components well take a look what did this vector do this vector came over to the left and down which meant it went negative in the X and it came down so it also went negative in the Y so both components of this vector were negative now look at this vector you've got a 15 cos 40 vector or 15 sine 40 it's repetitive if I had 60 vectors I would keep going this cos and this this sign this if I want my X component I know my X component is going to be 15 cosine of 40 the only thing I don't know is positive or negative well if I've got 15 cos and 40 then I've also got a 15 sine 40 that's got to be here for every cosine here there's got to be a sine here and vice versa all the way across so let's take a look at this vector this vector goes to the right and down <laughs> so my X component it goes to the right and down it goes positive X so I'm positive X and down so I am negative in my Y once I've got to this part I'm done all I've got to do is put an equal sign down say I'm doing on time yeah I'm gonna get this in under 10 minutes turn my calculator on I love my Casio FX 115 ES plus calculator I can put in just like this negative 20 minus 30 cosine 50 close my parenthesis plus 15 cosine 40 close my parenthesis equals negative 27.8 now for the other one negative 30 sine of 50 close my parenthesis minus 15 sine of ooh, 40 almost made a mistake close my parenthesis and then equals negative 32.6 negative 32.6 six on my axis so what does this tell me it tells me out of all this traveling I'm just in and I'm gonna start right here dun, 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 dash 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 what it tells me is that my person went 27.8 to the left that's our negative so they go 27.8 to the left and then they went negative 32.6 Y so they came down ooh, I'm running out of paper my scales gonna be ruined 32.6 Y now what I am interested in is this resultant in other words I'm looking at what what are the combined values of these two vectors that I've got well if I want to find resultant R square is equal to X square plus Y square notice how the I didn't write my negative signs all the negative signs over here told me was to go left and down and that's all I needed so I've got R square equals 27.8 square plus 32.6 square and again if I'd wrote the negatives they would all cancel right here when we squared so 27.6 oops 8 square plus 32.6 square equals that square root answer 42.8 notice how I took a square root don't forget your square root 42.8 miles now there's my magnitude and I love these they're repetitive if you want to find the angle use tangent but solve for theta so theta would be equal to tan negative 1 you get that from dividing both sides by tangent your opposite over adjacent and so theta would be equal to tan negative 1 the opposite the opposite of my angles 32.6 over my adjacent 27.8 
So, shift tangent 32.6 divided by 27.8, 49.5 degrees. 49.5 degrees. So this is 42.8 miles at 49.5 degrees, and I came south of west in this picture. I am south off of a west line. South of west. Da, da, da. And there is my video in 10 minutes and 41 seconds. All right, thank you for watching. Again, this was just meant as a review video, not as a full-blown vector teaching video. But anyway, hopefully it helps. Bye, y'all. Oh, yeah. And I don't know. Oh, wait, six seconds, seven seconds. I got to stop.